Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and to another video where today we are going to go and watch Main Road FC take on Cheadle Heath Nomads at home in the Northwest Counties Football League Division 1 South. Wow, that's an absolute mouthful to say. But uh, anyway guys, really excited about today's game. I know I say that a lot, but today it's for a very genuine reason. As some of you may know, I'm a Manchester City fan. As you can see, I've got my Man City jumper on here. Um, but uh, Main Road have a strong connection to Manchester City, uh, as we'll be finding out a bit more about once we get down at the ground. But uh, looking at the form for today's game, Main Road are currently sat in 12th, whereas uh, Cheadle Heath Nomads are up in 8th. Um, so I'm not too sure what to predict for this one. Um, I believe this is the lowest standard of football we've been to see on this channel so far. So... Yeah, I'm not too sure what, what to predict. Uh, I don't know what the stand is going to be like, but just for, for the sake of it, I'm going to go with a 2-2 draw, considering how close um, the two teams are in, in the table at the moment. But anyway, guys, as I said, really looking forward to this game. Uh, it's just me on my own today, uh, not filming it with anyone. So, of course, I can't film while driving, so there's not going to be any um, in-between shots between me driving from my house to the stadium. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys when I get down at the ground. Okay guys, so I'm down here at uh, Brantingham Road, uh, the home of Main Road FC. Um, and as you can see from the, uh, from the clips I've just showed you, and uh, from behind me as well, um, it's a pretty rustic ground, uh, it's fair to say, um, pretty old school. Very different to where I was last week, obviously, at Macclesfield, but um, that's non-league for you, the uh, disparity between some of the teams at this level. But um, I will chat to you again shortly uh, when I meet up with the chairman uh, to learn a little bit about the club. Okay, so I'm here with Ray Barnett, the uh, joint manager of Main Road FC. Uh, could you just tell me a bit about uh, sort of how the club was formed and how it all came to be, really? Yeah, well, we've been going well over 60 years now. And it started off as a, a group of Manchester City fans in a Sunday league um, who saw drinking the pub together. And as it it grew and grew and they kept winning games and winning games. They went to Saturday football and we've been semi-professional now for getting on 40 years in the North West Counties. Obviously you'll know about sort of a uh, team across the other side of the city, FC United. They were started uh, really through um, sort of uh, lack of trust of their owners. Was it? Do you, do you know if it was anything similar to do? Uh, with the starting of Main Road, or was there any um, tension there between the clubs, or was it just no, no, not at all. I mean, we chose the role, the, the name Main Road, because of you know, obviously that's where City used to play, and um, we've retained that name. Uh, quite funny with the badge. I mean, this has always been our badge, and then all of a sudden, you know, Manchester City come out with a badge that's identical. Uh, we should have had a copyright on it, really. We might have got some money out of them. Um, but no, I mean, FC United's just a fantastic story. It's a old group of fans who broke away from the club and, and have, have done extremely well. Uh, but, you know, semi-professional football is not a cheap exercise. Uh, and they obviously had quite a bit of money behind them. You know, they're, they're quite unique, I think. And this season, uh, I think you're in 12th um, as it stands um, today before the match. Um, what are your sort of ambitions for, for the rest of this season and, and going forward as well? Well, I think we got off to a poor start. And hence the change in management and myself and Reese Welsh have come in and, and Guy Heffernan as the coach. Uh, and it was really just to try and get some stability there. We'd just lost our way a little bit, I think. Uh, we'd had a couple of decent seasons beforehand. Uh, and it's, you know, it's, it's not easy when you, when you manage. And if it's not going right, it soon can gather momentum and it gets worse. So we, the club decided to make the change. Uh, we've come in, it's the same group of lads one extra player that we've brought in and we've just got them playing a little bit differently trying to get some belief in themselves you know they're, they're all good players and you know in the middle of September when we saw the fixtures we had, we had a goal in our mind that by the final whistle on the 13th that we would try and go unbeaten throughout October early November we're on track with that today's going to be a tough game both sides are in form 
and this one can go either way to be honest but it really is all cliche it's, it's a week at a time for us I was trying to steadily build we've had three cracking results um, on the bounce uh, and you know, it would be nice to get another fourth clean sheet today you mentioned the match today, uh, both teams currently sat around mid-table. Yeah. Um, could I push you for a score prediction? I'm going to go 2-0 main road. Hopefully that comes off. Yes, I hope so, road. yeah, yeah. But long term, I think, you know, by Christmas, we want to try and be in and around the top 10 and then we can have a look at that after January and, you know, not get our hopes too high. But in this league, the bottom is it capable of beating the top. And it just, it's just on who turns up on the day, really. So, fingers crossed. Well, thank you very much for chatting to me uh, today, Ray. Best of luck for the game today and uh, for the rest of the season. Cheers, you're welcome. Enjoy the game. Okay, so half time here at Brantingham Road, uh, Main Road 1, Cheadle Heath Nomads 0. And um, 
It's been a bit of a strange game, this one. A lot of uh, loose balls in the middle of the park. Um, I wouldn't say it's been end-to-end, -end, but um, both teams have tried to get forward, really, but just losing possession a lot. Um, kind of low quality, but um, Main Road took the lead on the 30th minute from a corner, and uh, that's what it stayed, 1-0 uh, at half-time. Um, can I get your thoughts, Johnny, on the first half? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um... Uh, it, it, again, it's, gonna, it's been a very, very, very tight game. Um, um, who else? What Lewis Edwards to score that corner? Uh, he's he's been there on, on a roll recently, mostly with penalties. And but again, it, you know, he's like been absolutely fantastic for us. Jamie Rowe also fantastic for us. He's been doing well. Uh, a, a lot of um, good runs from us, uh, but also a lot of good runs from them. Uh, overall, yeah, again, a very, very tight game. A lot of runs, but again. We're, the ball staying staying in the in the yeah, middle of the, of the park, but that's uh, that's what I think of the game. Could I push for you for a score prediction for the second half? What do you think it'll end? Oh, uh, my uh, my heart wants to say three 0 main road, uh, but my head's saying maybe two one. Two one. Well, hopefully main road can get the the result, and we'll see you guys on the other side at full time. Okay guys, so full time here at Brantingham Road, Main Road FC3, Cheadle Heath Nomads won and uh, that was a really good second half of football. Uh, Cheadle Heath came out the blocks absolutely flying in that second half and uh, got an equaliser pretty much straight away, just a, a run down the wing, it crossed in and a goal. Uh, and then about 10 minutes later, Main Road won a penalty, which was neatly dispatched uh, to get them back in the lead. And then on about the 75th minute, a superb run down the left flank from uh, Main Road's left back, crossed in and headed home um, to put them 3-1 up. And that was all she wrote for the game. A really good 3-1 win that for Main Road. Um, and yeah, guys, um, that's all there is to, to really say. Um, if you have enjoyed today's video, please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you never miss an upload. And as always, let me know any teams I should visit in the Northwest or otherwise, and um, I'll hopefully get along to them. And uh, like I said, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.